Welcome friends to another lecture on simulation of ethyl benzene process. Now we have come to a most important juncture of our flow sheet simulation. We have the two reactors in place and the reactor to outlet is the final product stream that we get in this entire process. We have a mixture of ethylene, benzene, ethyl benzene and orthodiethyl benzene coming out from reactor 2. From this we have to separate ethylene and benzene which will go as recycled to the first reactor and then we have to also separate ethyl benzene from orthodiethyl benzene. So orthodiethyl benzene will go into the second reactor. For this we require minimum two distillation columns. The first distillation column will separate ethylene and benzene from this mixture and the bottom will be a mixture of ethyl benzene and orthodiethyl benzene. Now as given in the article the column is operating at 0.3 atmospheres. So that is noted. What we do now is go to our unit operations and select separators and select chemsep column and select it and put it on the flow sheet. Connect the reactor to outlet to the distillation column and we rename this distillation column as benzene column. Right. After this, we double click the icon and go to edit. It has 10 stages as given in the article and it operates at 0.3 atmospheres. So we put 0.3 atmospheres and we press enter. We click OK. And the ChemSEP interface opens. For now, we close it. Now we draw the top stream first. So this is the top product. Let's keep it as 18. And let's take stream number 19 and put it at the bottom. We can rename these streams later. That should not be a problem. Now let's double click on the icon once again and go to edit. The column specifications should reflect what we desire. We desire to have a component recovery of benzene on the top to a level of 0 0.99. That is 99% of the benzene we wish to recover on the top. So click enter. And then afterwards in the bottom, we wish to have a component recovery of ethyl benzene completely so to start with we put it as 0.99 that is 99% recovery of ethyl benzene. Remember one thing start with values which are flexible or less demanding or rather have less number of decimals the reason being or is less strict. Reason is if you give very strict values, very tight tolerances, it might not converge. So close this, click yes. And I seem to have spelled benzene wrong. So I'll correct this, yes, and run the simulation. As you see, the simulation has successfully run. Now let's double click stream number 18, what we find. We find that there is an orthodiethyl benzene flow in it and there is a substantial amount of ethyl benzene flowing into the tops. Now the reason for this is plain simple. We did not give very tight tolerances. Now what happens usually in ChemSEP is it starts taking the previous values and simulates whenever we give fresh tolerances. 
So always you should give tolerances, less strict tolerances, simulate it and then improve and give tighter tolerances for convergence. So we click on edit. And now we go in and put tighter tolerances or tighter recoveries. So 9, 9 because we do not wish to have any amount of ethyl benzene on the top and wish to recover all the benzene on the top. So we take a very strict tolerance level of 0.9999 or 99.99% recovery of benzene. And similarly, we have 0.999 that is 99.9% percent recovery of ethyl benzene at the bottom or we can take a tolerance of 4. Now let's simulate it. Do you want to save the current input to benzene? Click yes and close it. Now run the simulation. As you see it has failed because we took tighter tolerances. Let's go back and reduce it. So go to column specs 0.999 and 0.999. Enter and let's run this. It has converged. Now let us see what is the result. The result is you have approximately complete recovery of benzene and little amount of ethyl benzene coming on the top. So let's increase the tolerance on the top and not the bottom. So let's click edit, go to column specs and put it as 99.99% recovery of benzene. And let's see how does this simulate. We run the simulation. There we are and it has completely recovered the benzene on the top that is 969.23327. Now what we can do is give a tighter tolerance in the bottoms. Let us start with 0.9995. Enter. Click yes and run the simulation. It has failed to run. So it will not converge for more tighter tolerances. That is very clear now. So let's take it 0.992 and let's do a last simulation and see if we can improve on our results. No, it does not. So, oh, I did not press enter and that is why, as you can see, it did not take 0.9992. So let's run it once again. Click yes and there we go, run it. It has converged. Now let us see. As we can see that the ethyl benzene slip on the top is really very less. Now if we try to recover more than this, the column calculations do not converge. So we leave the results as this and therefore we find that we have now simulated the separation column that is the column number one. Now the bottoms has an ethyl benzene flow of 9629.96542. Fine, that's very fairly close to 630.6. That is the amount of ethylene coming in. After this, in the following video, I will simulate the second column, which will separate the ethyl benzene from ortho diethyl benzene and then we will attempt to connect the recycles and simulate the entire flow sheet isn't that very exciting so keep watching 
watch my next video. We will simulate this entire flow sheet. And this is going to be a very exciting experience. Simulation is one of the most exciting fields and exciting experiences that a chemical engineer can have while he's studying. Because it gives us a very clear idea of how processes works and how we can design processes. So that will be all guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.